But talk about talent. I've talked about it with you, Dr. Tom Pritchard. Everyone speaks so highly uh, of Brad Armstrong. Uh, Bray Brody is up next, and he says, A few weeks back, a question was asked, Who do you think could have been the Black Scorpion that wasn't already in WCW or WWF? After hearing that question, how does Arn feel about Jerry the King Lawler being under the mask as a way to bring him into WCW? No, because he had accomplished so much already and put so much time into getting over as the king. So in your mind, it does, just does not make sense as far as to be Sting's adversary. If if you would have taken a guy, just, just a top guy that was more of a bumping, feeding heel, that right away when you look at him in that outfit, you go... Well, I know who that is. And you might not be able to pick him out right away, but I got a feeling Jerry Lawler, just because his style was so definitive, you could pick out the punches. I mean, you would know the first time he threw a punch. Well, that's Jerry Lawler. Because it, other guys have great punches, but they don't look like his. The body type, all those things. Putting a, You know, I would have been able to spot, I would have been able to spot that. I think, yeah, you know, uh, Kurt Kurt Henning would have been able to dial it down, you know, and been that guy that when he pulled off the hood, you would have went, oh shoot, I didn't see that coming. Let's make this a little interactive. We have uh, some people here in the chat, and while I continue to ask questions, I want to hear from our ad free shows family. Who would you guys think make the perfect? Uh, Black Scorpion. Throw your throw your responses in the comments if you have any, and I'll dig into those in a minute. Mm. Arm, before we move to the mediocre warrior, and he's going to have some fun questions for us. Uh, I want to read a couple names. We'll do some word association. Black Scorpion. You say yeah or nay. We'll do we'll do real quick here, rapid fire. Uh, Rick Rude. A couple guys said Rick Rude. Would he have worked? Yeah, uh, yes or no in your mind? No. Okay. No. Uh, Scott Hall. Ah. Uh... Maybe. Okay, we'll give him a maybe. Yeah, and if it were, I mean, if it was prior to Razor, yeah, probably for sure he would have worked. Uh, Mark Cyrus says Eddie Gilbert. Uh, he played Hot Stuff International Days, play off that Hot Stuff International Days from UWF, and that's where he knew Sting. What about Eddie Gilbert? Um, he had the talent. I just don't know if if he was quite. You know, that Black Scorpion deal, you needed to be at least imposing. Gotcha. You know, good. You know, I think you had to have a pretty good body. You had to have some height. I'm not a guy that says, hey, how tall is he? You know, because it doesn't matter. But in this deal, I mean, it's Black Scorpion thing. I think you need to be 6'2". Yeah, six just, three. just a bigger guy. Whoever's under there, it kind of scares me. Look at how big he is. Yeah. That kind of thing. Uh, we had someone say uh, Dick Slater. Uh, Dick Slater, when he w before he had the car wreck, and everybody, you can go back and look that up. Not only was he a great worker and my idol, <clears throat> brother, he would knock your head off. He was a tough son of a bitch. Nobody, nobody messed with Dick Slater. I'm talking about the boys. I, I believe it. He they, they they didn't call him Dirty Dick Slater for without you know for no reason. He, he's a tough son of a bitch. What about Paul Orndorff? Brian Haremza, Paul Orndorff. I, that's a good fit. Yes, absolutely. And another tough son of a bitch and uh, great great worker. Um, somebody chimed in with Muda, Terry Weaver. Oh. Uh, that puts I, a different spin on Black Scorpion. You could maybe see that. Yeah, because you know he would have made up for the, he would have made up for the size factor, with just how different and cool his style yes, was. Yes. Yes. Because he was he was different. All his stuff was different. We had a few other names. I'll list them real quick, and then we'll move on. We had Mike Rotundo, Ted DiBiase, and Rick Steiner as mentions as well. 
DBS who'd been could have pulled anything, could pull anything off. Teddy was a great worker. Yeah. 